As you heathen have done, it shall be done to you. Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Revelation chapter 13 verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Because everybody got ears, right? But not everybody got ears to hear. He that leadeth into captivity. And when it says hear, that word hear really means understand. Because you can hear and listen, but it does not mean that the Lord has given you understanding. You know, you have to be of the elect to hear and to understand these prophecies. So listen and under so so listen and understand what the prophecies of the Holy Scriptures got to say. He that leadeth in the captivity shall go in the captivity. Who led the nation of Israel in the captivity? The heathen nations at the top of the heathen nations. The so-called white man is at the top of the list, which are known as the nation of Edom. They are going to be the first ones to go into captivity, starting with the so-called elites to the so-called elite banking families to the Amaha, to, to the Oppenheimers, to the DuPonts, to the Gettys, to 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 uh to uh to the uh, Disney's, to the Rockefellers, to the Rothschilds. They're all going to go into slavery. Why? Because they were, their, their nation put us in, into slavery. So they're going to be the first ones to go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword, is, the sword is the instrument of death. So, you know, I was watching, I was watching um these brothers, you know, forgive me because I, um, I, I forgot your 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 uh, YouTube channel, but um I was watching these brothers. Oh, Northern Kingdom, yeah, Khan. Uh, uh yeah, I, b I believe his YouTube channel is called Northern Kingdom something, but I I know Northern Kingdom is in it. I was watching their live stream not too long ago, I believe two days ago, and um you know, they was going into how you know how Esau Edom was was um was lynching us. How how they they was um taking our babies, you know, they would murder the fathers, they would take the women, they would rape the women, and then they would lynch the women, and then they would take the babies from the women, and, and they would literally slam the babies with all their might against stone walls. You see. They, they 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 would torture us, throw us in spike pits. They would they 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 would barbecue us. They would have dogs rip us to pieces. So he that he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Okay, and the patience. Yeah, because we 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 are suffering. Wait 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 waiting to get our justice. You know. Okay, so so here it says, here is the patience and the faith of the saints. We we are patiently waiting for the Lord to get a, to 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 give us justice. You you Jakes out there, you know, you you want to join Black Lives Matter? You want to go out there and protest with with, with a sign in your hand? You know, and, and you you're a bunch of idiots because first off, you're not black. The word black means wicked. Well, technically, spiritually, you are black because you're doing the deeds of the wicked, which is the so-called white man. But physically, you're not black. We are different shades of brown. Okay? You see my taskbar over here well, where my mouse is at? That's black. Ain't nobody that color. My bowl, where, where my salad is sitting at, that's not not bowl, my plate where my salad is sitting at. That is black. The lid 
on the top of of my um of my 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 candle here, which is, is it called a it's called a a a, a incense, okay? That's black, okay? The screen of your phone when you turn your phone off on your iPhone, your iPad, your Android. When you turn your phone off, the screen on your phone is black. A PlayStation controller is black. Black leather shoes, a black leather jacket is black. But 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 ain't nobody on this planet that color. We are different shades of brown. So you niggas are stupid. You're not black. You are Hebrew Israelites. Now, just because your skin is brown does not mean you're an Israelite, okay? Because there, there's Edomites out there. Okay? You got Edomites that are brown skin. Okay? Remember Cain. Cain, the original murderer. He was a brown skin man with, with woolly hair. And he murdered his brother Abel. So just because your skin is brown does not mean that you're an Israelite. You have to be an Israelite by a by spirit. Okay? Your spirit is what determines if you're an Israelite or not. Now, this is the book of Second Thessalonians, and just just uh, give me a second. Here. This is the book of Second Thessalonians, chapter one, verse six. See, it is a righteous thing with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you, who who troubled the nation of Israel, you heathens. Starting with the so-called white man. <clears throat> okay, you, you Arabs, you sell us camel meat, you overprice us on certain things. Like uh I went to I went to a camel, not not <laughs> not a camel shop. I went to a sand nigga a uh, uh, shop. Right? I went to a sand nigga shop. When I say sand nigga, I'm talking about you Arabs. I went to a sand nigga shop on a corner store, right? And don't you know this man charged me $4.50 for a half gallon of orange juice? I looked at this motherfucker. No, no, excuse, excuse my, excuse my boutte, okay? This motherfucker charged me $4.50 for a half gallon of orange juice. I looked at this motherfucker like I wanted to punch him in his face. Even though we're not carnal, you know. No, we're not going to do that. I was mad as fuck when I heard about that. I looked at him like, nigga, really? Nigga? $4.50? I was, bro, I was, <laughs> bro, you don't know, man, I was, I was pissed. <clears throat> You're gonna charge me $4.50 for a half gallon of orange juice, you sad nigga, but you know what? Seeing it is a righteous thing to, to recompense, to pay back tribulation to them that trouble you. These gooks like to sell you a uh, 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 cat and dog meat. Okay. These gooks like to sell you uh, cat and dog meat. You know, Africans, they're little, they'll literally mix doo doo among amongst their meat. You know, you can't eat that shit. Okay. Uh, so-called white people, they'll sell you pork. They'll sell you GMO foods. They spray chemicals in the air. They put micro microcosmic shrimp in water. They put chloride in water. They put 
feces in water. They put fluoride in water. Your water comes out of a faucet that is made from Teflon. Okay, Teflon, te te Teflon is another name for perfluoroatomic acid. Perfluoroatomic acid causes what? Cancer, hypertension, and pregnancy. Uh, diabetes, osteoporosis, corrosion of teeth, infirmity of the eyes, weakening of the immune system. Okay, there, 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 there's a lot of pots and pans that is made from Teflon. So, so, so when it, so, so amongst the heathens, when it comes to the most damage that has been been done to our nation, the top of the list is who? The so-called white man. Okay, this devil. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed, revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. So in 2 Thessalonians 1 and 8, that's talking about the heathen, especially the two thirds of our people. Because there are coons amongst the nation of our people who wants to, you know, be hand in hand and be buddy buddy with the so-called white man. And that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction, the nuclear missiles? Because during World War III, this country is going to be hit with 200 million missiles from the presence of the Lord. Because Yahweh is going to be present during the nuclear destruction of Babylon. And from the glory of his power. When he shall come to be glorified in his saints and be admired in all of them that believed, that believe, because our testimony among you was believed in that day. So you can better understand. This is the book of Galatians. Excuse me. It's the book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 7. Bear with me for just a moment. Be not deceived. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So if you plant slavery in which all of you heathen nations you had a hand in putting us in slavery. So guess what? You too are going to go into slavery. Understand? For he that sows to the flesh shall the flesh uh, reap corruption. But he that sows to the spirit shall of the spirit reap uh, everlasting. So you, you heathens, get ready to be slaves in the kingdom of heaven. Okay? Numbers chapter 35. Let's go to 33. Numbers. This is the book of Numbers chapter 35 verse 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. Which land are we in? We're in the land of America. Now, our blood has not only been shed in the land of America. Our blood has also been shed it. In the land of Europe, in the land of Russia, in the land of Australia, in the land of China, in the land of Japan, in the land of Antarctica, our blood has been shed all over the world. Presuming to the book of James chapter 1 verse 1 where it tells you Israel is a scattered sheep. So no matter where we scatter that, our blood is being shed. Rather, if, 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 if you think you're Arab, 
when you're really an Israelite fighting in these wars in the Middle East, or rather if you think you're an Edomite, but, but, but you're being persecuted and bombed over there in, in Eastern Europe, or even in Western Europe, or, or rather if, you, if you're in Europe, period, or rather if you think you're African when you're not, and you're being beheaded in Africa, okay? Israel is scattered on the four corners of the earth. Now, if your father's lineage goes back to a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native Indian, you are a Hebrew Israelite regardless of what you look like. Because your father's lineage on your father's side goes back to a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native Indian. For blood, it defileth the land. Yeah, blood do defile the land. Especially here in America, where a massive genocide took place. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein but by the blood of him that shed it. Okay? So this land cannot be cleansed by the blood that is shed, but by the blood of him that shed it. So starting with you, you with, with, with you six-pack Joe Edomites, you regular so-called white people walking up and down the street with, with shotguns and, you know, you might have an assault rifle or a hunting rifle back at your house. Your blood is going to be the first to be shed, and it's going to start with these race wars, and then ultimately, when 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 the Lord put the spirit on on, on those Russians to shoot those intercontinental ballistic missiles. Okay. This is the book of Jeremiah 30, verse 16. Therefore, all they that devoured thee, who devoured us? The so-called white man. These heathens. They all devoured us. Even to this very day, like it tells you in the book of Baruch. Okay, we are yet this day in our captivity. I believe that's Baruch, the fourth chapter. Okay. Therefore, all they that devour thee. And how are they devouring us? By, by, by furthering our oppression. They are those dogs that the Holy Scriptures speak of that came and licked our wounds. In other words, they made our captivity worse for us. Selling us dog and cat meat. Selling us horse meat at Taco Bell. They sold us horse meat. You know, the so-called white man sells us pork. You know, they oppress us with these chemtrails, with all the cement, these walls. Like, like, you ever wonder why, whenever you, whenever you just freshly move in somewhere, right? The first thing you notice is what the smell of paint. Well, that's harmful to your body. You're not supposed to be breathing in paint. That's chemicals. Okay? That's chemicals. In the kingdom of heaven, there ain't gonna be no such thing as cardboard walls. Okay, there ain't gonna be no such thing as you know, cardboard wall, walls, and then and then somehow they 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 you know paint on it. Okay, now don't get me wrong, certain woods are gonna have paint and then gloss over it, you know. You no, know, there there is a such thing as you know fine wood that you paint over, but then but then you put the gloss on it to give it that unique shine. That is going to be in our palaces or whatnot, but when it comes to cardboard walls, that 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 you put chemical paint, uh, no, nah, nah, there ain't gonna be none of that in the kingdom of heaven, you know, okay? They oppress us with their legislations, with their laws, 
with their decrees. So all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries, starting with the so-called white man, every one of them, including the heathen nations, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Now let's go from let's go from there to the book of Colossians, chapter three, verse two. I believe it's three, verse twenty-five. <clears throat> Salak. Okay. So it's, it's got to be the book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 25. No? Am I spelling Colossians wrong? That's why the book of Colossians, book of Colossians, I, I believe I'm spelling that. I could be wrong though. No, it's, it's three verse 25. It's 3 verse 25. Colossians 3 verse 25. <clears throat> it reads, But he that doeth wrong, excuse me for that, brothers, he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done. Okay? What, what's wrong? Anything that goes contrary to the Holy Scriptures. Now, in the kingdom of heaven, we're not going to feed you pork or shrimp. You know, <laughs> but you know what? We are going to make you, you know, eat rock soup. You know, there's nothing in the Holy Scriptures that say that uh, rock soup is, is unlawful. So we're going to have you eating rock soup. We're going to have you make, making salad out of grass. You heathens are going to eat that. Sorry about that. Okay. It says, and there is no respect of persons. So with that, I'm going to say, Shalom is on to the next one.